Ladies and gents, welcome back to another, is that Sadio Mane I see? We're going to review the little promo that's going on right now. We haven't had done a FIFA video in a couple of weeks because we've been taking a bit of time off from it after some weekend league tilt. However, Icon Swaps was something I loved last year, so I thought I'd come back, have a look at what we got going and uh, let you know what I think personally is worth going for. No surprise, I can't get back on. I don't know why I left it. But uh, let's just, um, I, I tell you what, we can get Footbin up in a set. Oh, here we go, Icon Swaps 1. Okay, these are none of the rumoured ones, so we can close all those tabs that we had open. But let's go over and uh, immediately, I, I presume they're going to actually be here in in uh, squad building challenges. It should be, you would think. Is it going to be, okay, Marquinhos, Foot Freeze Marquinhos. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that one. But let's have a look. Is there anything coming in here yet? All right, I'm curious why they're hiding these ones. Are they going to be after these? Where are they hiring, hiding these? Maybe Hernandez still there. Okay, so here we go. So Thierry Henry is one of them. A base icon player pick. An 89 plus mid icon pack. A mid or a prime. Frank Ray card. Two ultimate packs. Five 85 rare player packs. 25 83 player pack. Nemanja Vidic, base icon pack, Haji, base or mid icon pack, Suka, mid icon pack, Ronald Corman. Uh, is that in swaps? Let's have a look. Yeah, it does seem so. Right, well, let's let's have a look through then. What? So two ultimate packs, there's 125k of your time. Uh, oh, so, so 250k. So you need two icon swaps for two ultimate packs. I, I, I would wonder if these were in favorite. So at 585 plus pack, that's gonna be a three. So that's, they're, they're deeming that's worth more than that, okay. And 83, 25, 83 players. If, you, if you're doing any of these, you keep them for team of the year. So that's gonna be five. And I'm curious to see how many is on offer as well. 585 players pack. Is going to be three. Okay, so they're, they're deeming that the 83 ones is better, as we've just had a look. Nemanja Vidic, then. Let's have a look at this very first one. And how many is he going to cost? It's going to cost you seven for Vidic. Let's see if we can have a look in here and see uh, see what's worth doing. So it's going to be 85 Vidic. This is baby, right? Yeah. For me, look, it's a semi-decent card. I'm just going to have a quick look on this one. I, I, I don't think that any of these players are really worth doing at this moment in time. That is his baby. He's going to be coming in at, what, 465k? I don't think this is worth doing for seven. I want to see how, how hard they are actually to do. So base icon pack... Oh, look, look, it's got the amount of tokens you need here. Base icon pack is eight. Haji is nine. A base or a mid icon pack... 10. Suka is 11. Now he's actually okay. Let's have a look at this because he's actually okay. Uh, I, I'm not too sure what he's coming in here at. 4 star, 4 star. 86 pace, 90 shooting, 80 pass, and 89 dribbling. He's pretty good to be fair. Um, his passing's not phenomenal, but he's got all the right things that you want. His dribbling's pretty good. Balancing is all you would need, uh, pushing up a little bit there. But he's finishing and whatnot's very, very good. Um, but I, I'm feeling quite underwhelmed by this, I'm not going to lie. So the Midnight Compact is 12. 13 for Ronald Coleman as a centre-back. Now, he'd be a crazy CDM. I, if I'm going to do any of them, it might be him. Just because, I mean, you put him in C, 88 shooting and 89 passing. He's got 98 shot power as base. So you, he'd be a great centre mid. Fantastic centre mid. Obviously, defensively, amazing. It, it would be everything you kind of want in there. You'd have to obviously play at the five back and then sort it from there. Frank Reichard, CDM. This is really good as well. But how many of these are going to cost you? 13 and 14 respectively. A mid or a prime eye compact is 15. An 89 mid icon pack is 16. A base icon player pick is 17. I don't think that's not worth that. And Thierry Henry is 17. He's not good in FIFA. You see the one stat that is sort of bouncing out here, the 63. 
So let's go and see how many is possible. So Thierry Henry is coming in at 17. Let's, uh, I, I presume these are in objectives. So 17 tokens for Thierry Henry. What can you do here then? Oh, for freeze Balassi. Oh, he's back as an Everton player as well. Okay, well, that's somebody worth doing. Um, we're not concentrating on that right now. So icon swaps, let's see how many there is. Six matches in the foot friendly, one league with at least five uh, first on Premier League players in your starting squad. Same old. Yep. Serie A, La Liga, Bundesliga, League One. It's going 10 separate matches in foot friendly, one league. Okay, so that's when you can do whilst you're doing all of them because it's all in the same one. 20, yep. Yeah, you're, you're, you're sort of progressing through these as you're doing all of these ones above. Scoring 30, yep, yeah, it's exactly the same. So what, scoring 30 separate matches. So you're doing six, I mean, what is that, six times five? So there you go, that's 30 games. So you literally score, and when you're doing these, when you're doing these five, you're already getting another three by basically just scoring in every single game. So if you complete these, you really should have these by the end of it. You literally just need to score in your game. So that's easy enough. So that is like eight there for the sake of what, six, 30 games. 30 games and you should be able to get eight. Um, or that, well, that's based on you winning them all, of course. Let's have a look at the second one. So win five squad battle matches on minimum world class. Okay, so these are the squad battles ones. Uh, you get three from that. They're, they're super easy to do, if I'm honest. So there's three games there. I, I don't think there's going to be any, any more. So what's that? That's eight plus three. I can sort of throw on one, two, three, four. Yeah, so eight there plus three is 11. So, when does this season end? This season ends in 20 days. So you've got 20 days to do, I presume, 11 in that case. It doesn't say when it ends, but it's, it's in a 20 days or so, you would think. So going back towards the SBCs, you can get 11. And from 11, you can pick up. I mean, I don't think two ultimate packs for two of them is that bad, if I'm honest. Ultimate packs haven't been great for me this year, but I don't think it's horrendous. Uh, what? Okay, so three for eighty-five times five, twenty-five, eighty-three plus players pack. That that's that's a pretty good one. So you could get two of these by the time Team of the Year rolls around pretty easily. Vidic for seven. I, I don't think it's bad, but I, I honestly I, I don't think it's necessarily worth splurging your coins on in this one. A base icon pack is eight, so up to eleven. You can get Suka within the next twenty days, but you can't get a mid icon pack. You can't get Comb, and you can't get right card. And by the time Team of the Year comes around, yes, okay, these are going to be good, but. I, I mean, are they going to be like, I mean, they're not going to be below the power curve, but for what, how much are, they, are these guys specifically? Let's have a look. So Coleman, it's his 91. It's it's prime Coleman in fairness. Prime Coleman, well, he's not going to be coming at anything because, I mean, you can't get him yet. But what, he's mid is also a centre back with similar kind of stats. And he's coming in at 500k. But his prime is obviously... He's going to be more, but what, is he going to be like 800k or something like that? Right card, what, what's this? It's 90 right card, I presume that is his, um, that is his prime. Foot bin, very, very, very slow. I'm just I'm just looking for you, I'm not going to bring the screen up. So prime right card, obviously the price isn't going to come up, but there's a CDM. His 86 is coming in at what, like 300k? His 90 is, is significantly better in fairness. Well, I think he'd be about 900k or something like that. I actually, I am not too sure that any of these players are worth doing. Thierry Henry at 17. At se <coughs> I mean, is that even his prime? Because as far as I'm aware, that's his mid. So mid Thierry Henry is going to cost you a million coins or every single one. So the best player they have in here is a million coin player. This is a real drop the ball for me. I honestly, just checking what Mitsuka is going to cost you, 500k. I'd stay away from the players, if I'm honest with you. A base icon player, pick what you get a 1 in 3 chance, that's not so bad, but I mean how many coins are you? 17, a mid icon pack is 16. Oh wait, so you can get, oh it's an 89 mid icon pack, okay. So the mid icon pack is 12. A base or a mid icon player is 10. 
honestly, Haji, I don't think he's worth doing. 85 pace, 87 shit. It's, it's just a bit of a meh card. It doesn't really do anything for me. Best, best icon at 8. Honestly, at this point, I would probably advise, this is my personal advice so far, based on what I've seen at this moment in time, an 83-25 pack, do that, and maybe just blast through these packs in time for getting a hold of stuff towards team of the year and hope you get something. I think that's probably what you're going to be grinding towards. Vidic, I'd argue he's not as good as Joe Gomez. He's okay, but I mean, Haji, he's all right. Probably not worth doing. Suka is decent. Coleman and Rykard, you can't touch until 20 days time. So that's new year. By the time team of the year is already out. I don't know. I think I think of ser personally. Personally, I think they've dropped the ball on this one. An 89 mid icon packs okay, but, but look, by the time you're getting here, when's this gonna be? When's seven? When when's more of them coming out? Because we don't know the answer to that. You presume it's after this season. An 89 mid icon pack. What? Well, when are you gonna get a hold of that? January. That's okay. I mean, maybe that's what you want to grind towards. The packs are probably what I would say. I w I wouldn't touch a base icon player pick. A one in three chance of getting something okay, but for 17 is crazy. I don't know. I, I let me know what you think below, guys. But I feel as if the players are super disappointing. Um, in, in terms of my advice, I'd either save for the mid icon pack if you can be bothered to wait that long. Right card and Coleman. By the time we get there, there's there's going to be better cards on the market. Mid or prime icon pack is, is maybe an okay shout at 15. You get a chance of picking up a prime player that might go down a, a lot. I mean, icon pack coming in at 12, you can't do any of them until afterwards. Suka, you can do up until now, 62 days remaining. So that means it is going to go into the other season. I think a, a base or a mid icon pack is okay. A base icon pack at 8 is fine. For me, 11. You got what? 11 coin, 11 tokens to try and get a hold of it. If you wanted to do all 11 right now and you want to spend them instantly, I would probably go along something the lines of. Let's just work it out. Five. If I say it's too much. So the base icon pack in an 85 times 5 A. At this point, I'd maybe just take these. I'd maybe just take these. This would cost you 10 for an 8325 pack. An 855 pack, so that's 30 players, and then another, what is it, 30 players in an ultimate pack as well, 60 players. So you, you get, what, working out quick maths, 90 players, you're going to have like a 90 player chance of picking up something around Team of the Year. You grind these out, you keep them in your club, you're ready for Team of the Year. Honestly, for me, the players, not worth doing. There are better normal players. I know icons offer something in terms of chemistry, etc. I don't think any of the ones worth doing are in the first 11 and the ones we're doing by the time you get there for Coleman and right card there's gonna be better cards and even then they're, they're all right they're not fantastic mid on race 17 no thank you very much but uh, let me know what you think below guys for me go for the player packs just go for the packs that you're normally going to get at this point you wait for team of the year and you do something with them those players are absolutely for me not worth doing uh based on what we've seen so far in terms of the content that has been coming out in terms of how good some of the players you can get for how little it costs as well so i've actually just realized i, I was saying 11 there but it is actually it there's actually eight available until January the 1st because these is what I thought was players you get packs instead thanks so you've only got eight uh, just to sort of go I'll leave in what I said anyway initially about the 11 because I think the point still sort of stands um, if you go to squad building you have a look at what eight it'll get you so up until January you can only get eight. Literally these two is what you're doing. You maybe get a hold of Vidic or a base icon pack. It's on January the 1st when there will be another 10. So, I mean, it's up to you. So that, that other 10, if you can only get it, it up until January, I'd probably do these two, get them done and just do these two. So you can then use the packs for team of the year. Then you've got a chance at another 10. If you get a chance at another 10, I'd probably do the base on mid-icon pack. 
it, it, at that point when it does get around to that one. I don't think any of these players are still going to be worth it. You're going to have to grind through. You can't get close to these anyway. And there's that many sort of uh, available around. I wouldn't touch those packs there, so we'll leave it at that. Um, that's going to be the eight ones that you can use. Go with the packs and then wait for the mid-icon or base or right mid-icon pack when, once we do get there. But disappointing offering. Disappointing offering.